Henry. I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be with you here tonight. Um, maybe you could just kick off with a brief intro to this incredible film. Um, what can viewers expect, and in particular from your character? Well, I can't say too much about it um, without giving out away anything really but um, I think the viewers will be really really excited to see an incredible movie on the big screen if they're fans of Luther they won't be disappointed at all there will be um, you know it's very ama amazing writing and amazing acting so um, yeah and a lot of action and of course this was such a well-loved series back when it was on the TV and there was a lot of talk for a long time about whether it would be continued onto new seasons whether it would be a film was there any sense of pressure on like producing something? I mean, it's obviously and, and making it cinematic. What you know that difference between TV and film? Um, I don't. I mean, I'm I'm sort of not part of all of that process, but it, it's. Um, I think I think it translates really well from from one to the other. I mean, they've moved. You know, working with Netflix now and. Um, yeah, I think they did an incredible job, and it's it's just an amazing action film. And of course, right at the centre, this incredible performance from Idris Elba, he absolutely delivered. But then even with Andy Serkis, like we've perhaps never quite seen him before, really leaning into his villainous yeah. character and Cynthia Revo. What was it like working alongside these people and seeing these amazing performances? I mean, it's a, a massive honour to be to be in a, in a, in a film uh, alongside, you know, all these actors who are just, uh, you know, I'm massive fans of. And I think they're amazingly talented and I think they've, they've made the film what it is, which is incredible. And one of the things that stuck out to me, this line, that um, the fear of shame can be more powerful than the fear of death. I think there's a lot to be said for that in this era. And, you know, what do you think a film like this, you know, confronting some of the darker aspects of human nature, what can that tell us about, you know, uh, being, in, being in the contemporary world today? Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's sort of, it, it is exactly that. I think it kind of like makes people think now, I think we were very quick to put things you know, all over the place and, um, you know, maybe, I don't, I don't know particularly, but I think it definitely makes you think and it's quite scary. <laughs> and even Idris's character, you know, he's kind of treading this line, he's no saint, but there's also that sense of he's always got good on his side, he's got a good heart and there's something to take away from that too. Yeah, exactly. And I think you always, you always trust him deep down whatever's happening and whatever he's got to do. I think you as well, I always as a viewer have always known he's, you know, always trust him that he's gonna sort everything out. What do you think is it about him that makes him stand out as an actor? Yeah, I don't know. I mean it's it's difficult to say, but I think he just is he's an incredible actor in everything he does and um I think he embodies the characters and you know, and he is John Luther and has been for twenty three years, but I think it's never not ten, thirteen years, sorry, and I think it's um you know, I don't I think it's constantly feels relevant and it feels very now. And um, was, did you have a favourite moment on set or, or a most challenging moment? Um, my favourite was, do, was doing all that, being part of the stunts and, and, and those things that I've never got to do before, which is incredible. So I'm working with such an amazing team of people that um, just, yeah, made me feel like, um, yeah, very welcome. So, yeah. Were there any bits, even when you read the script, that, that were quite shocking and you thought, how are they ever going to do this? And, you know, is it different when you saw it play out uh, in the final product? No, really. I mean, I just was, yeah, this is going to be amazing. Um, so, yeah, so to be able to be a part of it was incredible. And just the stuff that they ended up doing was phenomenal. And perhaps we're now going to be able to see Andy Circus the same again after watching it. I know, I know. Well, that, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Can you tell us what you might be working on next? Um, I'm currently... Um, I've got a few things in the pipeline which I can't talk about at the moment, but yeah, it's um, yeah, hope, hopefully we'll be able to say something very soon. Yeah, the thing is, you know, it's obviously very much set in London. Being here as well for the premiere, does that all feel quite exciting and to see our city represented? Yeah, it's great, and I think it's London just is the way the cinematography is done with, with, with lots of rain, um, and it just it just feels very London, and I think it's great that we're, it's happening like now, where it feels like this. Massive fan, and I was a huge fan, and then I was lucky to also work with Neil Cross on a, another te television show called Crossbones with John Malkovich and Claire Foy a few years ago. So I've always um, known, been a massive fan of his work and um, and Luther as a whole. So I've watch every series religiously and now um, yeah it's, it's amazing to be a part of it. He sort of uncovers I think a lot of like the, the, the fear that a lot of us feel I think and kind of it's very um, I mean he writes beautifully and he writes wonderful characters that are 
you know, so many flaws, but they're so real. And um, and yeah, yeah, I think I think everyone can kind of relate to those fears that he brings up in a lot of a lot of his um, a lot in all of his work, which is um, which is great. Um, I, I mean, I really love that sh the, the genre he writes in anyway.